We hope you find it useful. Through its National Assessment of Progress in Education NAPE program, UNEP conducted this study in March this year. After testing the proficiency of 9,995 P6 learners, as well as 5,935 senior three learners from 100 districts by issuing them with English and numeracy tests. The findings revealed that learners in secondary school could remember what they had been taught before the lockdown, unlike their colleagues in primary school. Once schools resumed after the first lockdown, many learners in primary school did not return to school as compared to their counterparts in secondary. Most of the learners who did not return to school were boys. Learners have changed. Even the parents, their attitude is changing. There are parents who have married off their, their daughters, but for us we would say that those daughters need to be talked to to come back to school. Some of the factors that contributed to the learners not returning to school include the total loss of interest in attaining education. Learners, especially boys, starting up business ventures where they've been earning money. Female learners forced into early marriages while others became pregnant, as well as parents failing to find money to take the learners back to school. There are some students who are saying that now they are preferring the, side, uh, the jobs they are doing, the work they are doing. If they went to fishing, they said that they should remain to fishing. But we have to get away as Minister of Education to bring them back to the classroom. Additionally, it was found that some teachers are also not willing to return to class. Some are saying that uh, they've been losing a lot by being in the classroom. So they would rather prefer to stay on their other uh, generating, uh, income generating activity they have started than going back to the classroom. With these findings, it's now clear that reopening schools would not necessarily see the learners back in class. There is a lot that has to be done if the reopening of the schools it will be effectively sustained because we need the teachers, we need even the learners. We don't want to miss out on any learners because of uh, the other things that they are engaged in as a result of COVID. UNEP Executive Secretary Daniel Dong has also revealed that setting national exams for the learners returning to school will depend on the academic calendar issued by the Ministry of Education as well as how much content the learners would have covered. Examinations are not an end in themselves. We want to find out through this examination what is it that the children have learned, what is it that they are capable of doing. So there is no need for us to rush. Uganda is believed to hold the longest duration of school closures in the world following the outbreak of COVID-19. Joyce Nakatong, NTV Tonight.